Hello, hello, hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Ask Me Anything. This is the section of Sound School where you ask questions, and sometimes just me, in this case, Alexia and myself, we try to answer your questions in an informative and educational and entertaining manner. <laughs> yes. So happy Monday, you guys. And let's start this. Okay, let's do it. Do you have a good question for us today, Alexia? Yes. Yeah, so Daniela. Hi, Daniela. Hey, Danny. <laughs> this, this is like a AA meeting, like, hi, Daniela. Hey, Danny. <laughs> My name's Donnie, and I have a language question. <laughs> Which is not a language question, this one. Ooh, is I'm excited. If you had your own... <laughs> I think you want to say if you had your own? Yeah. Own. Own. Yeah, you're saying on. What is own? Own. Yeah, so really, really try to focus on just producing the sound from your mouth. Own. Own. There we go. That's a little bit better. If you had your own talk show, who would be your first three guests? Okay, so let me understand. If we had our own talk show, who would be our first three guests? Yeah. Okay, just a couple of clarifications to begin. First, Danny, no disrespect intended, but we do have our own talk show. But I think she's <laughs> talking about like Jimmy Fallon talk show or okay, like Fabio Pochard. A talk show. Okay, cool. And just to lay out the rules of the game, can it be anyone? Do they have to be alive? Can they be dead? She didn't say anything about it. Okay, well, how do you want to do it? Alive? People yeah. that are living? Yeah. Okay. And it can be anyone. It doesn't have to be, like, reasonable. Like, obviously, we could not get that person on the show. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Okay. I just have one maybe reasonable person, but the rest is like untouchable. Okay, cool. Do you have three? I do. Okay, do you want to start? You do one, I'll do one? Yeah. Go for it. The first one will be Chris Gethard. <laughs> I imagine you would use Gethard as one of your choices. Hi, Chris. <laughs> maybe he one day listen to us. <laughs> Hi, Chris. Yeah. Uh, we really love you, just to say that again. Yeah, you stole one of mine. So for those of you who don't know, Chris Gethard is a comedian from New York. and We met him this year. Yes. We met him at one of his shows. We told him that a lot of Brazilians love him. And then he did an episode on his podcast about <laughs> that, which is called Beautiful Anonymous. And yeah, we really, really love Chris. He's awesome. Yes, he's awesome. Awesome. So Chris would be my first guest. Yeah. What and about also, yours? The reason why we say lose well at the end of a lot of episodes. Yes. If you don't know, Chris. if you don't know what's that about, go listen to episode 200. Yeah. 200. We talk about lose well and gathered. Okay. That's a good one for your first one. So I believe my first one would be Sir Ken Robinson. Sir what? Ken Robinson. Who's that? You don't know who that is? I don't think so. Oh, you know that I'm pretty horrible with names. You uh, That's not your strongest point, yeah. <laughs> Sir Ken Robinson is an educator. He is from Liverpool originally. He has the most famous TED Talk of all time that is called, I believe, Why School Kills Creativity. And he really, really started, I don't know, my passion for kind of alternative forms of education and different ways to think about learning and creativity all started with him. And he's just a lovely British man. He is literally a sir. He was knighted by the queen. And he's fantastic. He's so delightful, charming. That's awesome. Yeah. Maybe I know who he is. I'm pretty positive I've made you watch one of his TED Talks before. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we can put the links to the TED Talks in the show. I would highly recommend you checking them out. Yeah. Okay. You okay. got another one? Yes. So, my second one, I'm pretty sure that I would be crying from the beginning to the end and I wouldn't interview him at all. And he's, I'm a biggest fan. Do you know who am I talking about? You'd be crying the whole time. I imagine, just because it's been on your mind recently, 
another knight, Sir Paul McCartney. Yes, yes, Sir Paul McCartney. Yeah. Now that I know how to say his name, I can invite him to <laughs> my late night talk show. Awesome. <laughs> Do you have any questions you would want to ask him? Yes. Can you adopt me for a week? <laughs> Let me stay with you. Just, okay. Just for a week. Follow you around. <laughs> nice. Nice. That's a good one. Yeah. Cool. You? Second one? Yeah. So I thought of this one and you're probably not going to like it. But I think it would be fascinating. And I think that would be Rick Rubin. Who's Rick Rubin? <laughs> I recently forced you to watch a Showtime series about him called Shangri-La. Oh, my God. <laughs> Rick Rubin is perhaps the most famous living record producer. He has no, produced I, he's everything. Amazing. And he's a very strange man, but he's a musical genius, and he's like kind of like a Zen monk type but figure. No problem at all about him. The problem is about <laughs> the documentary. Yeah, yeah, but I think you would really have weird. a lot of fascinating things to say, not only about music, but just about life and meditations. I, I think he'd be a <laughs> good guest, an interesting one, at least. Yeah. Okay, do you have a third? Yes, I do. And my last one would be David Letterman. Ooh. Yes. Having Letterman having the ultimate talk show host on your show. Interesting. I think that nowadays that he's back and he's a little bit more calm and he really listens to people and I think that it would be nice to have him next to me just to like, okay, Alexia, you're not doing this right. You need to do this. <laughs> and just start talking to him about his stories because he has a lot of stories and he loves about, he loves knowing everything about the other person as well. So, yeah, he's a brilliant interviewer, a intensely fascinating guy. That's a good choice. Yes, I know. Thank you. Okay, for my you last one. You were expecting that. I was expecting you to say Trevor Noah, honestly. Yes, I thought about him. And then I was like, no, but if I had the only three options, I would have to go with Letterman. Yeah. So on my last one, I kind of, I'm in between two people. And it depends on what we're going for. If we we're really going for like hitting it big and getting really famous Or if it was just me personally wanting to talk to someone. Okay, give me you personally. Me personally, this is a very selfish one, I think. But perhaps the tallest man on earth. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> It's a Swedish singer-songwriter. His real name is Christian Madison. He's very, very shy. He does not give a lot of interviews, but I would love to sit down and talk to him. Yeah, he's very, very nice. He's very sweet. Yeah, he's lovely. And about the other option? If we had to get really famous and just another, uh, you know, it would be a big one to have on the show, President Barack Obama. <laughs> okay, so we would have Chris, Rick Rubin. Rick Rubin, Sir Ken Robinson. Sir Paul McCartney. Two knights on the show. A former president of the United David States. David Letterman, a Swedish musician, Barack Obama. And that's it. I think that'd be a good start. Yes, I think that's awesome. But only man. It's interesting. We had to put some girls there. Some. I I would pick up. No. Yes, I'm pretty sure that Ellen DeGeneres. I would have a good talk to her. She yeah. would be very nice to have. A little bit complicated nowadays. Why? She's in hot water right now. Just because of the Bush situation? <laughs> yeah. Ah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, we don't they need to focus on that. They can be friends with anyone. They just need to respect each other. And that's it. If I had to choose a female, I think my first instinct would be to go to probably Malala. Ma uh, yeah. Yeah, Malala. I would interview J.K. Rowling. Oh, yeah, that's a fantastic one. Yes, like, how is it? <laughs> how did you come up with all the things about Harry Potter? Yes, and can you adopt me for a week as well? <laughs> okay, 
Okay, so Alexia's talk show host invitation would also be a request for adoptions. I don't know what that means, <laughs> but that was a great question. Thank you, Dunny. I love that one. That was really fun. Yes. Let me think. Thank you. Not about English, but I hope that helped you and you found it useful in some way. And I would love to hear some of our students' answers about this question. Yeah, it would be amazing. Maybe they would pick us. Pick up. Pick up us. No, up. Pick us up. Pick up us. <laughs> they would pick us. They would choose us. Yes. <laughs> I hope not. That seems like a waste. But yeah, sure. Go for it. Okay. Bye. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Danny. See you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.